Hello everyone, I'm Bikas from Ismail Academy and welcome to another video. In this video today, we are going to talk about draw navigation in Flutter. So from this video, we are going to start a Flutter tutorial series. And in this series, I won't be talking about the basics of what Flutter, but what I'm going to talk about is the widgets of Flutter. So we'll learn about implementing different widgets in Flutter application. Okay. So instead of learning everything from the scratch, I want to teach you guys different, different component, how you can implement it in your application. In that way, it will be easier for you to understand. And at this point, I assume that you already know what is Flutter and you already have the Flutter set up in your system. If not, if you want a beginner tutorial on how to set a flutter in your android studio or in the vs code then let me know in the comment below and i will create new videos for that but for this video we are going to create a draw navigation for our flutter application okay so here you can see my android studio open in the desktop and i'm going to create new flutter project once i click on that it's going to display the flutter sdk path and i will click on next and here I need to give the project name so I will give some unique project name here okay I will create I'll give the name as draw app demo and here you can change the other properties but for me it's I want it to have a default values everywhere so I will just click on finish but before that here you can see we can select the Android language and iOS language and I'm gonna let that as a default I'm not going to change anything here and click on finish and it's going to create the flutter project for us and once that is done we are gonna go ahead and implement our application okay so this is a default flutter application that you can see and it's it's coming with the readme file I'm not going to modify anything here so I'm just going to cl close that file I'm gonna open up the draw app demo and go to the leaf folder and there you'll find this main dot file and this is gonna be the main file of our Flutter application. Okay, so by default, when you create the Flutter application, it's going to come with the default app that Flutter is, the Flutter has given for us, but we're not going to use that. So I'm going to delete the code for the default application. And I'm going to remove the code. And here, I will remove this home page as well. And here, I'm going to give the um, I'm going to set the path for our application okay so I'm going to create a new screen to display in our application so I'm going to create new dot file and it's going to have the name as home okay so this is going to be the home screen for our Flutter application and here I'm going to implement the stateless widget so for two Implement the stateless widget, you can simply type stless, it's going to create the widget for you and you need to give the name. So I'm just going to give the default name that is home that I want to have for this screen. And here we need to implement the uh, required classes and you can simply import this cupertino.dart but I want to implement the whole material library. So let me implement that. Uh, due to this box here, I'm not able to access the more options so i'm just going to uh, click here and enter tab and it's going to remove that box from here and now i can ac access the more options and i will select the material dot okay so i will be implementing the material library so that's why we are implement uh, importing whole material dot now in the main the dot file i'm going to uh, reference the home screen that we have just created so home and we need to import that and it is uh, asking us to add the const modifier we'll do that because our home screen is a stateless widget so we don't need to worry about this const here now inside this build we are going to return our widget tree and inside that widget tree we'll be having the draw navigation okay so to have the draw navigation you always have to start with the scaffold okay so we'll create the scaffold first okay and inside this scaffold we can have the multiple properties and the draw navigation comes with the app bar so i want to implement the app bar so in any android application where the draw navigation is implemented there you might see few components like a toolbar and in the, the that toolbar you might see the hamburger sign and when you whenever you click on that hamburger sign 
you will be able to access the navigation draw okay so we need to implement the same thing here to implement the toolbar uh, the scaffold have the properties called app bar and here we will access the app bar widget and inside this widget we can set the properties for this toolbar or app bar and that is the title that I want to display and it's going to take the text widget so here inside this text widget I will give the name for our application draw app okay and just go outside this app bar and here we'll add the drawer properties and this drawer properties come with the scaffold by default so now here we'll create the drawer now inside this draw widget we can add the different properties to create the draw navigation and if you have seen the draw navigation there you might see a few components inside the draw navigation like draw header menu items with the icons and so on so we are going to implement exactly that okay so inside this i will create the child and the draw navigation it's going to have the multiple items inside a list view okay so i will create the list view because we are going to have the uh, items as a column so i'll create the list view and i will add the the component inside this now first of all we need to add the children properties and this children property is going to take the list of items and that is going to be displayed as a column inside our draw navigation the first thing i want to add is a header so let me find if we have any kind of properties for the header so user account draw header okay so this is the default widget that comes with the flutter to display the navigation header draw navigation header okay and it's going to take the account name and the account email the account name is the name of the account that you want to display in the draw header so what i'll do is i will give the name so to give the name obviously we need to use the text widget so name is Bikas thapa okay so that's my name and i will give another text properties to display the email so because at mail.com i'll just give some the some default here and inside this i will also create the uh image okay so our user account draw header is going to have the user image as well so i will create the account picture and that uh, that is inside this user account drawable header okay so that is the properties of this user account draw header widget so i will give the comma there let me save to reformat the code and inside this i can set the user account picture okay so current account picture and inside this i will create the circle avatar okay and this circle avatar widget it's going to display the image in circle so here we don't need to use any third party plugin to display the circle image all you have to do is call this circle avatar and inside we need to give we can set the images okay so let me give the child and you can set the image here but i will i'm going to use the icon so icon pr property and inside this icon uh, widget i can use icons dot person so this is our draw header so at this point i want to run this application and show you guys how it's going to look like so let me run the emulator and i do have the emulator created already so i'm just going to open this and ignore this unable to locate adb message that's not going to affect our development process so it's going to open the emulator so my emulator is on here and let me go and run this application by selecting the appropriate device that is android stk build for mobile and i'm just going to run this application and since we are running this application for the first time it's going to take some time to run this application so let's wait for that and once the application is running i'll be back as you can see our app is running in the, in the emulator and you can see this hamburger sign and if i click on that it's going to open up the navigation draw and inside the navigation draw you'll see this account picture with the icon that we have given here that is a person icon and after that you will see the name and you can see the email ad address as well now the next step is to add the menu items here and to add the menu item we are going to use the list style okay so you can use the list item but i prefer using list style because it has the support for title and icons so we'll create the list styles but before that let me add the comma 
and we'll create the list tile okay and this list tile is going to have the few properties that we will use that is title and it's going to take the title text widget and we'll use the leading and this property is going to take the icons or images that you want to display for your menu item okay so uh, let me add the icon widget and i'll select some home icon from the icons directory library all right and it's also going to have the on tap properties but before that let me hot reload this and here you'll see the navigation menu item with the icon here okay but right now if i click on this it's not going to do anything so to be able to handle the on click event we'll use the on tap property and here we'll call the anonymous callback and inside this i'm just going to print the menu clicked message okay so it's going to display the message in our console okay uh, let me just add the home so that i can identify which, which button is clicked and whenever the menu item is clicked we'll close this navigation draw that we have here okay if i click on this right now you can see it's this uh, displaying the menu item clicked and i will close the navigation draw to close the navigation draw we can use the navigator to pop the currently open window okay so let me save this and it's going to hot reload and now if i click on this it's going to close the navigation drawer and you will also see the message here to add the more item in our navigation drawer menu item we can simply copy and paste this list tile inside this list view and it's going to create the menu another menu item for us so i'm just going to give profile and change this to person and now if i hot reload this i'll just save the file and it's going to add the another menu item here so it says home menu item is clicked i'll just change that to profile menu item how to load this and if i click on profile it's going to display the profile menu item message and if i click on home it's going to display the home menu clicked message okay guys so that that's how we implement the draw navigation in flutter application let me know if you run into any problems or errors in the process i will try to help you fix that if not don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more flutter related tutorials and i hope you are learning something new and i will see you in the next video